Hey, it's Scott Bradley with some more director's commentary, and today we've got one of our most recognizable videos of all time. This is the 2015 European tour cast version of All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. So as you can see, we're not in my living room for this video. This is actually a studio in Zurich, Switzerland. We had a day off on tour, and this is the same day that we recorded Creep with Haley Reinhardt. So this was a very productive session. In this video, we feature a lot of the amazing cast members that we had on this tour, including Haley, Morgan James, who's there on the right, Ariana Savalas, who's on the left, and Casey Abrams, who sang in the beginning and is now apparently sitting on the ground. All About That Bass was one of our biggest song remakes from the previous year. We had featured Kate Davis, who's an amazing singer and upright bassist, and Ours was a very literal interpretation of the word bass. We had an upright bass solo in the middle of the song. So that was such a fun video and it went viral for us. And I wanted to find a way to include it in the set list even though Kate wasn't touring with us. So I wound up adapting this arrangement for the vocal talent that we had, which was Haley, Morgan, and Ariana. And created kind of like an Andrew Sisters type of arrangement where uh, the girls would all sing their verses and then come together and do some harmonies at the end. And we, we left in the bass solo too, because that's kind of a signature part of the song. And you can see Morgan's coming in right there. Uh, she's about to do the line, I'm bringing booty back, which she sings like a big high note and everybody gets chills because she's got just such an amazing voice. Um, a fun fact about that, when we, uh, after doing this for like two months on tour, we were coming back through customs and my buddy Rook Flair, who uh, was stage managing for us, um, you might know him as Rapping Einstein from the very early days of Postmodern Shootbox. Um, he's going back and they're asking him, they're like, are you bringing anything back to this country? And he's just like, I'm bringing booty back. And uh, we all crack up. Uh, customs people did not think it was funny at all. But that was kind of a fun story. So this tour was particularly notable for us because it was our first time playing some really big venues. And also we had a cast of people that had really never toured with each other before, but had such a unique chemistry. Everybody got along really great. Uh, you, can, you can see even just by watching Ariana and Haley and Morgan, you can see that they have this natural chemistry. And in fact, like backstage, they'd be joking around, they'd be doing filming these little skits and stuff. And it, it kind of made for a really fun tour in that sense. Uh, over here, you can see this is the epic Two Bros, One Bass solo with Adam and Casey both playing bass at the same time. This was actually incredibly difficult to coordinate. They had to spend about a day of rehearsal just figuring out how they wouldn't be in each other's way. And it was kind of a funny thing. We took a lot of pictures. It just looked like Casey was like hugging Adam all the time. It was pretty good. So you can see Ariana just stepped forward to do her last pre-chorus and Morgan's gonna join her and do some harmonies. Everybody sounded so great in this video. Uh, I think that that's part of the reason that this whole thing kind of went viral and exceeded our expectations. It was the first time we did something that was like a reboxed video where we took a song we had previously covered and released a new version of it. And it wound up going viral on Facebook and people were sharing it. They're like, check out this amazing group. And I think that the other thing that it really captures in addition to just being a great vocal performance is just the chemistry that is on stage at a postmodern jukebox tour. You know, and that comes from living with each other for about two weeks at a time. And everybody kind of knows each other. Everybody is locked into a groove. And the resulting performance feels very um, polished, but at the same time, very organic. On stage, everybody has their own musical superpowers that kind of makes them unique. But at the same time, they all blend with a group. And it's an ensemble effort. So this really sums up kind of postmodern jukebox on tour, which is why I love this video.